Good evening. Good evening. How are you tonight, Doris? Uh, fine, fine, fine. <laughs> great, great. Good to hear. Is it cold? No. No? No. Uh, it's a, uh, temperature is normal. Okay, the weather is okay. The weather is okay? Weather is okay. Mm, okay. But it is windy, right? Yes, in what? the in the street out. In the, uh, Outside is is outside is, is windy. Windy. Mm -hmm. Are you in Santa Tecla or where are you? No, you I living in Sacamil. Oh really? Yes. <laughs> you're, you're very close to Sandra. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, she lives in Los Alamos. Ah, near, <laughs> near. Very close. Very close. Yes. That's good. Okay, Blanca is back. Yeah. Okay. Uh, in the moment that I turn off my camera, uh, the signal is failing so. okay 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 if it fails yeah if it fails just turn off the video but uh, i will ask you just to, to leave it on when we do the attendance okay okay guys let's wait um three minutes for your classmates let's have a standard conversation how was your day today it's tuesday mm -hmm. I went to Albania today. Albania? Yeah. Uh, you don't know the labyrinth of Albania? Uh, no, I don't know it. Really? Apaneca. Apaneca? Oh. Yeah. Apaneca. Yeah, it's the same that the girl uh, that administrate the place he told us because she said that some Salvadorians doesn't know, no, don't don't, don't know, know, don't know about the uh, labyrinth. The labyrinth of yeah. Oh, but is that what it is? I mean, is there anything else to do, or is it just going through the labyrinth? Uh, oh, there's... there is. There are. There are two labyrinths, and also there are so many extreme games. There are extreme games, yeah, I see. Man, that's nice, and it's a natural labyrinth. Are those yeah, bushes, are those tall bushes? Yeah, yeah, you, you have to find the, the center of the labyrinth and it's almost two hours in there to find what no way <laughs> really yeah <laughs> very difficult the first time it's very difficult uh but the second one i think that it's easier i i i uh, i didn't try the second one because i'm a, uh, i'm being afraid I was afraid. But I'm going to try. It. I was afraid. Yeah. But what would, what would you I, be I'm afraid? Try it later. Okay. <laughs> okay. How how much? The last they, time. I guess there is a restaurant. I, yeah, there is a restaurant. There is a cafe, a coffee, a coffee shop. A cafe. I think. Uh -huh. And yeah, a cafe. And there is a restaurant and a coffee shop and extreme games. Uh, there is a, a canopy. I don't know how to say canopy. Yeah, well, canopy. I think canopy. That it's canopy. Canopy. Okay. And there is a, a, a game that it calls the jump of the eagle. <laughs> the eagle jump? Salto del águila. Yeah, yeah. The eagle, eagle jump. jump. Yeah. 
Oh, and that's like, yeah. oh, I see. Yeah, it's uh, actually they put you, the eagle fly. They put, you on a, they put you on a platform and you have to, to stand up on the platform. Then they just pull, pull off the, the platform and you fall <laughs> to the press. I it, don't know, to the it's ring. a swing. To it's a ring. swing. It's a swing. It's something like that swing, yeah. Yeah, it is a swing. I, yeah, I, I'm it's, it's looking at it. Man, it is beautiful. There is, there are, yeah, there are three bicycles. Three bicycles? There are three bicycles uh, do right on the on the air. Mm. Yeah. Oh, yeah, on the cable. Luisito Comunica was there. Where, oh, okay. Where? Yeah, was there. He was there. Was there. Okay. Hey, yeah. nice, nice place to go. That's yeah, nice. And it's close to the to the city. That's pretty nice. But okay. I went for work. And it was nice too. <laughs> okay. I'm glad to hear that you had fun. Okay. We are 18 already. Please turn on your cameras. Just your camera. Make sure you have your full name. I'm going to do the attendance before we start. Welcome to our 16th session. Today is our class number 16. It's nine days and you will be on intermediate six. Alexander de Jesus Sanchez Soto. Present. Andrés Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Present. Blanca Stephanie Navarro Flores. Present. Dora Elizabeth Flores Mendez. Present. Awesome. Edwin Alexander Ayala Erazo. Present. Erika Beatriz López Morales. Present. Irwin Lagos Andrade. Present. Good. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Good. Francisco Amadeo Villacorta Chavez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Present. Thank you. Alexander, William, Edwin, Jocelyn. Well, Edwin is, is actually working. Uh, Jarvin and Jocelyn, please turn on your cameras. Just for a minute. Just for a minute, okay? Freddy is Vladimir Cortez Lopez. I'm here, teacher. Glenda Laura Celada Renderos. Okay. Amos Alfredo García Granadino. Josué Alberto Salas Benítez. Present teacher. Yuri Vladimir Cruz Ventura. Luis Ernesto Romero Argueta. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Estefanía Carolina Reyes Sánchez. Present. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Jessica Yanari Cortés Díaz. I'm here. Good. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Yeah, here. Thank you. Roberto Luis Umaña, Roberto Luis Umaña Orellana. Suleima Ivonne Moreno de Hernández. Irene Susana Cuellar Albanés. Jarvin Isaac Guevara Miranda. Present. And Thelma Clotilde Peña Martinez. Present. Okay. Let's see. Quien no ama el lugar, la tierra natal y donde ha nacido. Terruño de amor, amor El Salvador, Salvador donde, yo, donde vivo. yo vivo. <laughs> that was one of my favorite commercials or ads, TV ads um, from my childhood. Do you remember any other? What comes to your mind when you listen to old commercials? Un verano de locura, <laughs> un verano con canal. Oh my God, it's true. Uh huh. Any other? El de la Nueva Milagrosa. 
Uh huh. La nueva milagrosa. I was thinking, but how was it? Oh, well, Willy Maldonado, right? Man. Our childhood was amazing, actually. We had so many ads. Even ads were entertaining, right? At eight o'clock, there used to be the kids going to bed, remember? Little family. So we're going to talk about that today. We have to start speaking about um, marketing, digital marketing, how it is, how it was born. You're going to watch a video regarding cookies. Yes, tipo. Oh my God, tengo que lograr que vuelvas conmigo. Seguiré intentando todo tipo de cosas. Man, I, I used to sing that jingle. Did you know that it was actually a, a contest, a radio contest? with ABC, yeah. I think it was ABC radio. They, they had a contest. Someone had to create a jingle and the best jingle was going to get a prize and that's it. And this guy was heartbroken and he wrote the jingle and he put the music and it was like, oh my God. It was so, so sticky, you know? So, uh, wow, that was a trend. That was a real trend. Those were really good commercials. Even the video, the, the ad video was, was amazing. Man, good one, Francisco. Wow. So, yeah, you're going to get some memories. I try to do my best finding a video with old ads from Salvadoran TV. We will get there in just a minute. Let's start with our book. So, hmm. And that's our first topic, actually. We have to start on page 25. But before that, um, let's see. So we're done with reported speech with, hey, did you hear the news? Canada just started a new digital law. They removed the digital uh, transactions from their country. I mean, you, you cannot transact with digital currency in Canada. Like Bitcoin. Like Bitcoin or any other. It's just um, they're trying to prevent money laundry. That's crazy. I mean, that was a huge hit. And, and that's really bad. But I don't know what's going to happen in my company. But anyways, it is what it is. So what comes to your mind when you hear about digital advertising how do you picture it how do you picture it when you hear digital marketing is this digital marketing what do you think yes it is yes <laughs> that's a subliminal message right <laughs> yeah so if you're watching this video you should subscribe to inglés corporativo take classes with us yeah I could do some ads. Okay. So that's the first thing that comes to your mind. An image. What else? Short videos. Short videos. Uh, you mean like YouTube ads? <laughs> oh, I hate that. Facebook too. I hate Facebook that. too. Yes. You know why I hate uh, these short commercials, these ads on YouTube? It's not because they're annoying, sometimes one minute and a half or two minutes, I mean, in the middle of a song. I don't hate them because of that. I hate them because they remind me that I'm poor. <laughs> I cannot pay the subscriptions. <laughs> yeah, the plastic. Man. It's, it's like fancy. It's seven dollars <laughs> with 99 cents. Oh, really? That's not expensive for you. For me, that's, that's expensive. I have three kids, well, four. Five. I don't know. I have all the apps that I had, I can have with subscription, so I can put another one. So uh, and YouTube, it's free for me for Ooh. this moment. I hope later it becomes a subscriber. Uh, I become a subscriber. Subscriber. Yeah, but is it not good? Today, not tomorrow. I mean, I, I really tried the the app 
uh, without with that act. And mm -hmm. it's really good because when you are in the best of the, the song, that doesn't interrupt, but... Yeah, I hate taking a shower, listening to Chente, rest in peace, by the way. You know, and a sudden, suddenly an ad comes on. Oh my God, right? Yeah, that's not good. So, yeah. Or, or I, uh, it proves, uh, or I have to say, por <laughs> eso. My poorness. Yeah. Okay. Okay, yeah, because of our poverty, I mean, we, we cannot go there, right? Okay, uh, but what else comes to your mind when you hear about digital ads, digital marketing, other than short videos? That takes your information when you enter on the website, cookies. Cookies. We will get there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they, so that, that, they take your information, and if you enter to a website uh, searching for I don't know a computer, the cookies that extract your information, they will show you uh, in another on another apps that you need a computer. Mm -hmm. You will get you commercial buy, ads. You have to buy a computer. Uh, yeah, you will be provoked. Let's say you will be uh, getting or target in that in that uh, niche of market. That's right. Okay, so how do you call these emerging um, ads when you go to Facebook or what is that? How do you call that? Even is cleaning the screen. He just reminded me of, of the meme. <laughs> Sorry, teacher. Yes. Yes. It's like, no, he's going to change into something else. <laughs> no. Okay. I am sick, teacher, today. Oh my God, I can take it out of my mind now. <laughs> Have you seen the fat guy? Have you seen the fat guy cleaning the wind, the mirror? <laughs> Why and a, and a movie comes out. <laughs> it's a fat guy. <laughs> Just go to TikTok. Yeah, it's yeah, on yes. TikTok. Okay, that's an ad, you know. <laughs> hey, so how do you call these little ads, you know, that come floating on your screen out of the sun? And Fernando, Sir Google, what's up? Hi. How do you call these little ads? Pop up. It's a pop up. That's right. But those are not even blocked. If you if you turn on the pop up blocker on your browser, they don't go away, right? Yes, but some websites uh, are implementing a, a a way to to avoid that because all the users wants to want to 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 use the ad blocker because the sometimes the the it's advertising annoying. is annoying. So. Yeah, and you know what? It's weird because I, I don't look for religious videos, but lately I'm seeing many ads regarding religious things, you know, selling courses, I don't know, Christian courses. And I have nothing against religion, but man, these ads are really long. I mean, so I don't know. Yes, and sometimes that is impossible because uh, when you 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 want to click in in some place of the website, they open a window different that you want, and that that is because uh, uh, there there are uh, many windows, uh, and you can see that the, the windows are there, but you can mm -hmm. see that. And when you click, you click the window, now the the button or the link that you want. Hey, and there are some. Well, I don't know if that's a virus, but I remember there were some ads. You couldn't skip them, you know, it, they followed your mouse and you had to click on them. It's, it was like forcing you to click on them. Man, that was really annoying. It, it was like waiting like 30 seconds before you could go away off from that screen. That was crazy. Okay, so 
<clears throat> outline. What is outline? Outline. <laughs> mm -hmm. What is it? To put a line? No? Is that that's outlining, right? Is this outlining? Or is it is 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 this outlining? What is which one is it? That's underlining. Underlining. underlining? Okay. Mm -hmm. So this is underlining. Marketing is underlining. What about outline? <laughs> That's outline, right? Okay. How do you call this one then? How do you call that? Scratch. Scratch. Yeah, scratch. scratch. Yes. Yeah. Scratch mm -hmm. or scratch off. If you say scratch Struck? off, scratch off is like erase. Mm. Okay, scratch it off. Okay, and yes, this is underlining, scratching, and outline. Okay, let's move on. What are some common examples of digital advertising? Common examples of digital advertising. Hmm. What's the most common ad, ad that you have seen currently? One, two, three, everybody. <laughs> and, and in websites, uh -huh. uh, you have pictures. Uh, maybe it depends that you decide you to you visit or what what do you want to see? Because for example, like. I watch YouTube, I watch Facebook, and the, the advertisements are different in in many ways in that different platforms. In these platforms, okay. But what is the what is the the most common? Let Let's agree, everybody. What is the most common ad uh, that you have seen? Maybe when I, I am playing a, a video and in in the middle of the video, uh, and and that appears with for files on or 10 seconds until uh, I want, until to skip when you, you, you can- uh, Until skip, you skip. can skip, which is five seconds, I believe. Yes. Yeah, but what is the most common ad that you have seen, guys? Yeah. Or maybe when you are- uh -huh. in, chat, in chat. When you are, for example, in Messenger, the, the ads up, appears in, in, in the middle of the chat sometimes. Really? And or maybe an announce announce that it's ad. That, it's still an ad. Yes, ads. But I'm asking you. I mean, let's identify. Let's see if we all agree to one common ad that is not regarding English. I mean, and I think that's the most common one, right? <laughs> Advertising as food. Food. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's food. true. Food. Food is very common. Pizza, right? Banks, banks too. Banks, banks, banks. too. In El Salvador, yeah. in El Salvador, banks are very common. It's true. That's true. What about um, cable services? The two cable services that we have. You know, that's like very common too, right? Are those common examples of digital advertising? Yeah, right. I would say so. Um, what about Impresa Repuestos? I don't know you, but I get that a lot. <laughs> okay. There, now, are, there are some um, courses free. Free courses, yes. Yeah. Free courses are very common as well. Actually, everything depends on what content you watch or you want, what content you watch be before. Mm -hmm. Where what what websites you've been to as as we were saying with Blanca, so has digital marketing changed since the nineties? Okay, let's remain with this question: Has digital marketing changed since the nineties? I'm just gonna split you just for ten minutes so you can answer these two questions. Okay, try to talk about the most common advertisements that you get on your browser which ad applications, because Facebook, I mean, YouTube is an app, right? On your cell phone, but it's also a website, some sort of application or software 
on your computer. So let's talk about the most common things that you see. Okay, Josie, I got you. So let's talk about that on small groups and then we're gonna start watching some videos so we can, or you know what, let's get an idea. I think it will be better if we just get an idea of what we're gonna talk about, give you the background before hand. So here are two short videos that you're gonna watch. The first one is just to give you a reminder of how things used to be in El Salvador. That's the first one. And the second one has a lot to do on understanding, understanding how it works, just the way Blanca was explaining. She ruined the surprise, but yeah. <laughs> That's the way it works, okay? So what are we gonna do in groups? The first video is in Spanish. So turn off your microphone, don't share your screen. And the second one is in English. Please turn on closed caption in English and gather vocabulary on the second video. Got it? Got okay. It. Got it. We have half an hour to talk about this. Then you will report to me on the main class what happened on the videos? Um, y lo voy a decir en español. He notado que están viendo los videos y los pones en subtítulos en español. Así que chistes tiene, señores. Por eso cuando los traigo de regreso, nadie quiere hablar porque but I didn't get any new word. I mean, I understood everything, right? <laughs> okay, so don't do that. Okay, let's go. Salvamos por la campana a las 7 y ciencia Oh my God, the beepers. I didn't remember that. <laughs>
At the end uh, of the video teacher, the, uh, the man said about regulation or to uh, cookies because the companies has uh, uh, advantage. Uh, the big companies has uh, advantage because they have um, the possibility to use uh, the information that all of, of people, but I don't know uh, what is talking about about the regulation of, of that kind of cookies. What do you think, Alexander, Francisco, Edwin? Uh, maybe, for example, uh, that do you know that Facebook and Google are uh, yeah. Also, use your, your own information. Mm -hmm. Yes, they recollect all information for other, maybe other company. Oh, how do you say vice versa? Vice versa. The, mm -hmm. the other company offer this. My.
guys. Tell me. Hello. Hello. Hi. Well, I was I was looking the video and uh, I have a uh, um, paragraph. Uh, Okay. Um, well, there are there are cookies saved uh, all the all the uh, advertising. Uh, you you watch, and uh, and um, according the 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 video, and they yes. they are. They they are make making you as uh, an identity identity. Um, and um, and so according to you you look in the all this uh, all this allowed and uh, mm -hmm. to internet show you uh, publicity yeah if you want to to look do you believe that the digital advertisements that were on the 90 uh, were better than the ones that that we watch already in fact uh, in okay. into the video in, into the video there are uh, there is a, a, a woman uh, call it call it Cleo Cleo Abraham Abraham she said that could be what's what do you say? Justificable. Just, just go. Justifiable. Justifiable. Speak, mm -hmm. uh, speak about into the web was poor before cookie. Because Lou, Lou, Lou Mont Montoli, Montoli invented, invented cookies. So, uh, in in ninety ninety four, because so he was uh, working work he was uh, uh, working in in Nets, Netscape Netscape and he was. 23 years old in this in this moment that that he that he working in that he work in escape and and uh, in, in this in this a year he looked the problem and the web into the web and for for that he he uh, um, he create the cookies uh, after and you got it boy yes can you explain me explain me a uh, uh, concept or any mention about this this dam please Luis Just wait me a moment. I had no, I had no end to watch the video. 
I am still watching the video. In fact, the video is in Portuguese. Yeah. What? No. Yeah or not? No, you have to play with the settings of your YouTube. Yes, just one. The first one is in Spanish. No. Yeah, just the first one was in Spanish, but the second one is in English. You have to play with the settings of your YouTube. No. I looked in Portuguese. <laughs> oh. But did, did you understand most of it? I more hope. or less, more or less, teacher. <laughs> and uh, okay. Okay, boys. Oh my god. Somebody look this video. <laughs> we have to go back. Hey. Oh my God. I know. Don't worry, I'll make you some questions. I'm alone, okay, and then? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Don't worry. I remember watching an ad about Seteco when I was a kid. Well, actually, I didn't have a TV until 1992, I think. I was born in 1982. The first video, yeah, the first TV we had was a Sanjo, no, a Zenith, a Zenith TV that mom sent through or by airplane um, on 1993. I was about 11 or 12, if I remember right. Then in 1998, I came to San Salvador from Santa Ana. So I was, that was my story. Okay, so yeah, I, I don't remember ever watching a Seteco ad. I do remember Foremost. Do you remember Foremost? Yes, Foremost Milk. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Chocolate milk. I remember. I remember only Nido. You only remember Nido? Nido yeah. Anchor. 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 I don't know. Ah, yeah, Anchor too. Anchor. Anchor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We used yeah. to say Anchor. It's true. Anchor. Do you remember uh, Diplomat Cigarette? Oh, yeah, the commercials, yeah? the ads <laughs> from, from Diplomat Marlboro. Yeah. Did, did you remember? Yeah. Did you remember the bacalao? Bacaolinita. 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 Yeah, bacaolinita. This flavor. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Strawberry good. flavor. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. Man, those were good years. My mother oh. bought me that bacaolinita. Uh, and mm -hmm. I really, really hate that. Yeah. yeah, we all hated it. We all hated it. My mother used to buy me. My mother used to buy me and force me to eat uh, bacolinta to drink or eat. I don't know. Okay. So that was about the videos. Uh, second video, your thoughts. Give me your thoughts about the second video. Cookies. Man. Oh, my God. Teacher, I was sharing uh, sharing with my classmate that I didn't know how the websites uh, suggest your information, your personal information when you are filling a, a form. But in, in this video, I understand that the cookies uh, are work for that. Yeah. Yeah, they work for that reason, for that purpose. Man, yes. I didn't know that somebody invented cookies, you know, 
until now, I was like, what? Can you imagine this guy is a millionaire? He has to be a billionaire, right? I mean, wow. He's giving our information the whole I mean, I, I'm, I'm double thinking about having a, a, a smartphone, guys. Man, or closing all my have, all my Gmail he accounts. He has the right and idea. He has the right idea and at the right moment. He had, uh-huh. He had the right idea at the right he moment. He had the right idea. Yeah, but eventually what happened after that? After he, I mean, what was the purpose of him creating the cookies? Why did he come up with the idea? Because uh, all the websites erase your information and you have to fill all over again. Oh, so he, so, yeah, it's true. I remember that. Yeah, me too. Windows 95. That's why I never <laughs> forget my password uh, back then. I always remember my password back then, but now I have to write it on a on a note. On a notebook or something, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, William, what do you think? Um, do you think it's a useful thing to have cookies? Yeah, it's useful. Mm, because uh, sometimes you forgot your, your own information. You know and... something that I love? Uh, what What do you do when you, by mistake, you push F4, function four on your keyboard and you close all of the windows, the internet windows? You know what yeah. to do? No. No, really? Close all your tabs. What? How you close all of your tabs? You know how you have like eight tabs, let's say on Chrome? And you hit F4 and <gasps> close all the window. I don't know what what I have to say. What I, what I what I have to do. So tell me, please, to <laughs> yeah, somebody, <laughs> somebody to say that. <laughs> it's so I easy. Come on. I know that you have to use. Irene, the you know, but, but no. I don't know with it. No, it's oh, not really? a set of keys. I don't do it with a set of keys. I have something else. Uh, yeah, Irene, do you know how to do it? No. No. Okay. Uh, Fernando knows. What? Fernando knows. You think Mr. Google teaches? What? What? <laughs> I, am, I am a simple developer. <laughs> yeah, he's, a, he's an app developer. Okay, guys, when that happens to you, let's say you're working and you have a set of Windows tabs, you know, on Chrome. And by mistake, you push F4, everything's closed. Oh, I mean, in that window, let's say it's closed and you want to reopen all the windows, you go to history. Okay, you go to history and then you can go down. Let me tell you, I cannot show you, but I can tell you. you go to little eight. three dots, you go to history and then you will have recently closed. Most part of the times you will have a set of pages, okay? You'll have a set of pages that you can just reopen and that will reopen all the windows you had closed. Nowadays, uh, Chrome, for example, when you do that, when you open the browser again, they ask to you yeah. if you want to reopen. They suggest. Mm -hmm. They suggest you, yeah, but that's when the computer is turned off, for example, by by an update or something, or you didn't want to turn, or if you have a power off, let's say everything is restored. It's, it's a, some sort of cookie, right? That's my point. I mean, that's some sort of virtual memory. And, and that's, that's what uh, the internet was missing. So this guy came up with the idea now think about the video okay i'll do the attendance and then we will continue with this conversation is very interesting so the reason why he set up the website the cookies what happened after he invented the cookies with the cookies let's say alexander de jesus sanchez soto <laughs> present andres giovanni valdivieso portillo present thank you 
Blanca Stephanie Navarro Flores. Present. Dora Elizabeth Flores Méndez. Present. Edwin Alexander Ayala Erazo. Erika Beatriz López Morales. Present. Irwin Lagos Andrade. Present. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. 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 Thank you. Do you hear me? Yeah, yeah. Francisco Madeo Villacorta Chávez. Present. Freddy Vladimir Cortés López. I'm here, teacher. Chicos, enciendan su cámara, por favor, en este momento. Glenda Laura Celada Renderos. I saw her. Yeah, she's there. Glenda, I got you. Amos Alfredo García Granadino. Amos is not here. Josué Alberto Salas Benítez. Present. Yuri Vladimir Cruz Ventura. Okay. Luis Ernesto Romero Argueta. Present. Welcome. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Okay. Estefanía Carolina Reyes Sánchez. Present. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Jessica Yanari Cortés Díaz. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Jocelyn, ok. Roberto Luis Omaño Orellana. Present, sorry, sorry, sorry. It's ok. Suleyma Ivonne Moreno de Hernández. Present. Hey, you're in the dark. Irene Azucena Cuellar Albanés. Present. Thank you. Jarvin Isaac Guevara Miranda. Present. Thelma Clotilde Peña Martínez. Present, teacher. I'm sorry, but I'm here, Nari. Yep, I got you. Ok, chicos, eh, no voy a decir en español porque es necesario que quede grabado esto, que yo siempre les hago hincapié, que enciendan la cámara, solo en este momento, ante todo, cuando se pase el listado, porque es la parte que audita Insaforp para asegurarse que esta carita que está aquí corresponde al DUI que se registró cuando se inscribieron al programa. Son protocolos nada más, pero imagínense lo único que se les pide, aparte de decir presente tres veces durante la clase, o sea, son clases gratuitas, eh, no están pagando por ellas, o sea, un beneficio, pues, vean el lado, el lado positivo a esto. Eh, aparte, estamos virtualmente, o sea, el verle la cara al otro te, te, te debe de hacer sentir que estás hablando con otro ser humano, o sea, si ¿sí me explico, esa es la importancia, ¿no? Eh, so, let's continue. Um, and see how, how things have changed, I mean. So, going back with the cookies. You gave, well, this guy gave memory to the internet, let's say. He helped the internet to have memory. What happened then? How, I mean, how do you think, or, I mean, who, who it doesn't mention who gave sense, who came up with the idea of, man, you're saving the user's information, the user's preference. And why is it important to, for companies to know your preferences? That doesn't sound like a stupid question, but it makes sense, right? <laughs> Man, whoever had the idea of recording your preferences regarding clothing, shoes, uh, your buying, what is, how do you call that your buying? Um, oh my God, I have that word in my the tip of my tongue, <sighs> you know, buying preferences. I didn't want to say preferences, but behaviors. You're buying behaviors. Man, it was a boom for companies. So we know they can even do statistics with this thing, you know. Okay, so in El Salvador, 80% of people prefer to go to this store than this store when they buy an electronic and so on. I mean, wow. Because I don't know you, but how, how do you look for, for, for example, me, the fridge is, is dropping water. It's very old now, you know, we have to change the fridge. How do you think we manage to, uh, to get a quotation for a new fridge? Do you think we went to La Curaza or, you know, 
what do you do? Do you go shopping to Metro or to a mall and get the prizes or do you browse the prize online? What do you do, guys? I prefer browse online first. Yeah. But okay, but in, in your case, Andres, you're very far away, you know. I mean, you don't have as many options as other people may have in the capital, you know, I don't know. I think that's that's a great advantage for you in reality, but but do you still go old fashioned? Are you old fashioned and go <laughs> shopping around? No, because uh, I feel that I am I am losing time in that way. Wasting, good job. I'm wasting, no. yeah. I feel like I'm wasting my time. Yeah, shopping around, and you get annoyed. <laughs> you get annoyed by the sellers. In El Salvador, we have this common way of speaking, right? Venga, mi amor, que les digo. Right? <laughs> They're touching you all the time. And, oh my God, that's annoying. Okay. You save, you save that, right? Okay. But not all of the stores have a good website, do they? Yeah. Businesses have it. They do. Question Is there a website that gives you? The best prices online. I mean, here in the South. Yeah. Yeah. For example, La Curacao. No, no, no. But what I'm saying is, have you heard about Trivago? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And there's another one, right? There's another one, but this website. But Trivago is for hotel, for res right? hotel reservation. So my point is, is there a website? that gets all the prices from around the web and gives you the best price and quality? Uh, I don't know. For products. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the, it's just that that's what Trivago does. Yeah. That's what it does. So <clears throat> there's no website, right? To, to no, match there prices. Isn't. Here in the country, I, I don't see something like that. Make it, Fernando. <laughs> Develop. For, Develop doing that, for doing that, I know the or the company ha, have to collaborate because I we I will need access to to the information or the catalog and they implement need in to a, agree. Yes, you got it. Hey, Fernando, we got to do something, man. We have to come up with something <laughs> out of this class. I I can't believe the amount of things that we don't have in our country. I mean, can you imagine that? You just go, okay, let's see who has the best price for a fridge. Oh, okay. And this is the point. Okay, I found a fridge for $400. It is used, second hand. Second hand, they just use, use it for a month. It still has the five years warranty from La Curacao. That's a good thing, a good deal. Okay, but there's another one for the same price, new from La Curacao. Okay. Which one will you buy, right? Like what? Okay. See, that's a good idea. Do we need a mechanic? Let's go. Who has the best price for an oil change? Okay. Teacher, I heard once that someone was de de developing a an app for comparing prices, but for parts for cars. For car parts, really? Yeah. Yes. Here Someone in the Salvador. Told me, yes. Hmm. But I think they didn't finish. And yeah. that's the problem, you know. There are two things here in our country. If you have an idea, don't make it public. Don't be like the teacher, okay? Number one. Number two, register it. Go and register the idea at the San as we spoke before. And um the main problem in our country is that there's no uh, willpower. There's no willpower. When you want to do something and you knock some doors, nobody's going to support you. As we spoke before about the SICA, you know, there's no willingness to do that. Even countries don't agree. Anyways, so let's move on with the class. Uh, did you like the video? That was a good video, right? But the worst thing, 
the bad part, let's look at the negative side of the cookies. What happened with cookies? Uh huh. Year uh, the, maybe, the, maybe the the website the another website that the cookie doesn't belong but they they can access to the to that information mm -hmm. and you don't know you don't know that we that they are doing what with that information you don't know what they're doing repeat you don't know what they're doing with your information just but actually for i heard and guys i heard about the deep web the deep web or is it dark web what is it deep web deep, right? deep, web. Different. deep web yeah the deep web i mean all your data is there and they can hack your computer and that was the problem with cookies that's my ending point about the videos um they became viruses right they set up viruses that can go into your computer and etc you know what's my key to avoid viruses? Not having not having an antivirus. I don't have an antivirus on my computer, on my personal computer. I just don't. I don't need it. You so have I, uh, wow. Windows Defender. <laughs> no, no, I uninstall Windows Defender. I don't need an antivirus. Windows Defender is in there of the operating system. I know it's built in, but you can turn it off. It's just ah. annoying, you know, and I don't know. It's just that I use freeware. So if you use free software, you know, um, it's it identifies as a, as a virus. I use Active Catcher. <laughs> uh, I can't remember the name of this video converter. Anyways, that's the point. So cookies are a great deal of discovery. Okay, so let's move on. Now on our book, page 25, we have um, role play. And I'm gonna choose two of you to please read from the screen. People who is very quiet lately, I'm gonna use Stefania and Andres. Let's go. Um, Okay, so Stefania, you're Elena, and Andres, you're Harvey. Okay. okay. One, two, three, action. <laughs> we are trying to improve our marketing strategy by analyzing our consumers' data. And then we are planning to optimize the content of our webpage according to their preference. Well, that sounds good. I think we should hire a web designer to help us optimize the content in the web page. The site needs a makeover. Yes, uh, I already contact some people who might be able to help. Okay, we only need to discuss how to improve or direct marketing strategies. Awesome, good job. Okay, yes. Some Americans say data, some others say data. Data or data, yeah. But I, what I have heard the most from Americans is data, data, data. Is the same with the word item, it's item, because the whole word's itemized, itemization. So item, item, try to say item. Hey, pluralizing preferences, preference, Preferences, preferences to their preferences. And then in the endings, <laughs> and I love when you guys forget the pronunciation and instead you say the word in 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 simple present, right? Uh, yes, I already contact some people. <laughs> contacted, contacted. This is the third rule. Remember, contact, contacted, it, contacted. Good job. Okay. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Andres, select someone who doesn't speak on the class. And same to you, please, Stefania. Let me check. Um, someone who's always quiet. Glenda Laura, Glenda Laura. Glenda. <laughs> you too? 
Okay, Jarvin. Okay, Jarvin and Glenda. Okay. Okay, Jarvin, you're Harvey. Uh, Glenda, you are Elena. Ready? Jarvin? Uh, I think Jarvin has fallen asleep or something. Jarvin. There you go. Hello, hello, hello. Let me, let me try uh, the conversation, right? Yep, let's I, do it. One, two, yeah. three. You're Harvey. Go. <laughs> okay. We're trying to improve our marketing strategy by analysis or customer data. And then we're planning to optimize the content of the web page according to the preference. Well, that sounds good. I think we should hire a web designer to help us optimize the content in the web page. The site needs a makeover. Yes, I already contact some people who might be able to help. Okay, we only need to discuss how to improve our direct marketing strategy. Okay, good job. So guys, you say strategy. Strategy, strategy. Mm -hmm. And right. yep, that sounds good. That sounds good. That sounds good. Okay. Contacted again, contacted ED. Okay, contacted. And last, direct. Okay, direct. It's not direct, direct, direct. Okay, let's practice for a few minutes this conversation. But first, I would like to leave it recorded on this video. Just listen so you can watch the video again later if you need to. We are trying to improve our marketing strategy by analyzing our cost. I'm sorry, by analyzing our consumers' data. And then we are planning to optimize the content of our website web page according to their preferences. Well, that sounds good. I think we should hire a web designer to help us optimize the content on the web page. The site needs a makeover. Yes, I already contacted some people who might be able to help. Okay, we only need to discuss how to improve our direct marketing strategies marketing strategies, strategies, strategies. Okay, by the way, it's not in, it's on the web page. okay? The content on the web page. That's page 25. Let's go just for eight minutes so we can move on with the next part of the class. Read as many times as you can, please. This is important for you. Let's practice. Okay, Irene, Edwin, if you could please join your group. And then we are planning to optimize the content of our web page according to their preferences. Well, that sounds good. I think we should get a web designer to help us optimize the content on the web page. Design needs a makeover. Yes, I already contacted some people who might be able to help. Okay, we only need to discuss how to improve our direct marketing strategy. Okay.
we can so switch if you want. I can, I, I, I'm going to be Elena. Okay. Freddy's could be Harvey. Freddy's, go ahead. I'll start. We're trying to improve our marketing strategy by analyzing our consumers' data. And then we are planning to optimize the content of, of our webpage according to the pre preference. Well, that sounds good. I think we should hire a web designer to help us optimize the content in the web page. The site needs a makeover. Yes, I already contacted some people who might be able to help. Okay, we only need to discuss how to improve our direct marketing strategy. Strategy. Okay. Strategy. Nice, direct, direct. Direct. Our direct, direct. Direct marketing strategy. Marketing strategy. People who might meet be able to help. Okay, we only need to discuss how to improve our direct marketing strategy. Strategy. Okay, Jocelyn, now okay. you are Harvey and then Helena. Okay, we are trying to improve our marketing strategy by analyzing our customized data. And then we are planning to optimize the content of our web page according to their preference. Well, that sounds good. I think we should hire a web designer to help us optimize the content on web page. The site needs a makeover. Yes, I already contact some people who may be able to help. Okay, we only need to discuss how to improve our direct marketing strategies. Okay. Now you again, you again, girls. Cool, sir. Mm, and Glenda, because you were her, you were Harvey. Correct. Correct. Okay. Yeah. Direct, okay. Mm -hmm. I am happy, okay. Oh, yes. We are trying to improve our marketing strategy by analyzing our customers' data, and then we are planning to optimize the content of our web page according to their preference. Well, that sounds good. I think we should hire a web designer to help us. Optimize the content in the web page. The site needs a uh, makeover. Yes, I already contacted some people who might be able to help. Okay, we only need to discuss how to improve our direct marketing strategies. <laughs> Strategy. I don't know. Repeat, repeat. Strategies. Strategies. Okay, let's go by part. Stra. Strategies. Uh, 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 wait, wait. Strategies. Strategies. The opposite. Strate. Strate. Strategies. There you go. Strategies. 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 <laughs> Close. <laughs> strategies. 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 No es una E. No hay una E antes. Entonces, ah, algún, strategies. algún ceseo. Strategies. 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 Partámoslo por la mitad. Strate. Strategies. Strategies. There you go. Strategies. Strategies. Classic, classic. You're very classic. close. You're very close. Okay. Keep it up. Do it again. Okay. okay. I am Elena. We 
are trying to improve our market. Yes, I need a cover. Yes, I already contacted some people who might may be able to help. Contacted. Okay. Contacted. Okay, we only need to discuss how to improve our direct marketing strategies. Okay, again, we are trying to improve our marketing strategy by analyzing our consumers' data. And repeat then we strategies. are strategies. I'm sorry, repeat strategies. S strategies. Okay, sin una E al final, al principio. S strategies. Strategies. Perfect. Strategies. strategies. Okay. We are trying to improve our marketing strategy. Strategies. <laughs> strategies. <laughs> strategies <laughs> by analyzing our consumers' data, and then we are planning to optimize the content, the content of our web page according to their preferences. Well, that sounds good. I think we should hire a web designer to help us optimize the content on the web page. The site needs needs a uh, makeover. Yes, I already contacted some people who might be able to help. Okay, we only need to discuss how to improve our direct marketing strategies. Direct. Direct marketing strategies. 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 There you go. Stra yeah. Strategies. 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 Teacher, preferences or preferences? Preferences. None. Preferences. Uh, pre <laughs> pre preferences. Preferences. Pre preferences. 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 Okay. Strategies. 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 Good. One last time. Okay. Which? William and Luis, it's your turn. Luis, are you there? Are you there, Luis? Yes, thank you. Don't worry. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Luis, are you? You? Go ahead. Okay. We are trying to improve our marketing strategy by analyzing our customer data. And then we are planning to optimize the content of our web page according to their preferences. Well, that sounds good. I think we should hire a web designer to help us optimize the content in the web page. The site needs a makeover. Yes, I already contacted some people who may be able to help. Okay, we only need to discuss how to improve our direct marketing strategies. Okay. We are trying to improve our marketing strategies. A strategy by analyzing our customer data. And then we're planning to optimize the content of our web page according to their preferences. Well, that sounds good. I think we should hire a web designer to help us optimize the content on the web page. The site needs a makeover. Yes, I already contacted some people who might be able to help. Okay, we only need to discuss how to improve our direct marketing strategies. Yeah. Okay, let's see. So you say strategy, strategies, strategies, strategies. You can say marketing or marketing, 
marketing, marketing. What was the other one? Let's see. You were all of you were failing on these words. Analyzing strategy. Be careful. I do the same all the time because it's very similar. It's not customers, it's consumers, consumers, consumers data, 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 consumers data. Mm, optimize, optimize, optimize according to their, their, their. It's not their. Mm -mm. You're an intermediate five. Stop saying their. It's the their, their. Just like their, their. Okay, the same thing. Their preferences, 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 preferences. Okay, try it. Um, optimize, optimize. Contacted, contacted. I already contacted, I already contacted. Discuss, discuss, it's not discuss, be careful. Discuss, discuss, discuss. How to improve, improve, or, or, or direct, direct marketing or marketing strategies, strategies, strategy, strategies. Okay. Practice, practice, practice. That's all it takes. Repeat, repeat, repeat until you get it. Okay, so how does Harvey plan to improve the marketing strategy? How does he plan to improve the marketing strategy? By analyzing their consumers' data. The consumers' data, okay. What does Elena suggest to improve the looks of their web page. A web designer. A Hire web designer. Hire. Do you think Hire. that I I have this this I don't know argument with some people you know that I know are websites still attractive to consumers? What do you think? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I Can think you that. Social media is more useful. I mean, nowadays. what but moves social media? You? Uh -huh. But in social media, you can not find exactly what you want. This is a hook in order to send to you to a visit. web page. Yeah, to visit it. I like that. It's a hook. <laughs> it's a hook. <laughs> I used to forget that word, you know, how, you, how I learn to remember that word hook um by captain garfield captain hook <laughs> with peter pan so i never forgot it anymore hook captain garfield okay so yeah that's a hook to go to the main website but still you know i think that yeah social media is absorbing most of the marketing uh, website is not as appealing as going through facebook i don't know what are some disadvantages of digital marketing? Mm -hmm. What are some disadvantages of digital marketing? Hmm. Is that on the on the role play, right? Optimize the, the content in the web page. That mm -hmm. could be a disadvantage. Yes, you need to um, be updating the website. Is that expensive? You know, if that's expensive to have a website, a web, a web page designer um, updating your website every now and then? It should be expensive. It's gotta be expensive, right? Yeah, we're in the era where information actually, or knowledge, knowledge is the most expensive thing. Okay, next stage. We need to build some vocabulary and match the terms related to digital marketing to their corresponding meaning, meanings. Um, and let's check the answers with our classmates. Again, 
direct marketing, direct marketing, multi-level marketing, consumer, consumer, consumer data, consumer data, consumer data, optimized content, optimized content, content, optimized content. And last one is sales leads, sales leads, sales leads. Mm, let's see, internet issue attractive. There's no through a network of distributors, 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 difficult words. Initiation, initiation, initiation. <laughs> and that's difficult, initiation. Don't say initiation, please. Initiation of consumer interest, interest into products or services of a business. The business of selling products or services directly to the public. Man, we still have to, well, it's like we will leave this for tomorrow, rank the advantages of direct digital marketing from one to four. Okay, so let's make sense to these new terms, okay, new vocabulary on your book or your, yeah, your book, page 26. And for the last time, we're going to be split it. Do you have any questions with words? By the way, I, I actually found a word that I liked on the video that we watched, technological tit for tat. On the video that we watched about cookies, I like that term, tit for tat. I Richard, didn't know. Is, is that a medium? Tit yeah. for tat? Tit for tat. Mm -hmm. okay. What do you think it means? I search and I I found that it means tal para cual. Mm. I don't know. Mm -mm. Literally. Uh -huh. <laughs> I got you. You got, got me, you. right? Ojo yeah. por ojo. <laughs> eye for an eye. You will say eye for eye. No, it's tit for tat. Okay, so technological tit for tat. Okay, ojo por ojo tecnológico. Okay, let's do this one more time. Let's go to page 26 and answer the questions together. You can do it. Don't fall asleep. Come on. We're almost done. I'm staying with Stefania tonight for 10 minutes. She left. <laughs> Uh, the teacher said page 26, right? 26, yes. Okay, yeah, yeah, I find it. Okay, um, let me, okay, I find it. I found it. Is it number one um, no. consumer's data? Yes. Yes, I think. Consumer data, yeah. I think number two. You are looking for optimize. for the for the material, and you are going to. Yes. Yes. Okay. Sorry, I am. I am <laughs> almost blind. I want to read the first statement. The information trail customers leave behind as a result of the internet use. Mm -hmm. Consumer data. Consumer data. Yeah. Okay. Number two, who wants to read?
I think number two is uh, optimize uh, content. Yep. Making a website more attractive to search engines and users. Mm -hmm. okay. Optimizing optimize content. Number three, it's a system for selling goods or service through a network of distributors. 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 Mm -hmm. uh, uh, sales deal for multi level sales leads. Sales leads. Yeah, sales leads. Sales lead. <laughs> initiate initiation for consumer interest in to products or service of a business Direct. level no no the no. last one multi level marketing makes sense the, the, the last one is the business of selling products or services directly to the public. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I guess it's sales lead. Okay. Which one? The last one. The business of selling products or services directly, directly to the public. Oh, yeah, yeah, no. You're right. Direct marketing. Mm -hmm. I don't remember what is. How do you say? Kian, I don't remember. Score. No. Dash. Dash. Okay. Right. <laughs> live behind as a result of the internet use. Ah, yeah, that's consumer data. data. Okay. It is a system for selling goods or service through a network of distributors. I don't know what is that. Multi-level marketing. Multi -level I don't know. I'm not sure about the number three for initiation of consumers' interest. Maybe the me, system for selling goods is uh, is multi-level marketing. Okay. And the fourth is sales leader. I don't think so. I don't think so. Mm. I, I don't know because initiation of consumer interest um, doesn't make sense with the mm -hmm. sales leader. I don't know. My brain, it's exploding. <laughs> right now. Relax. We will see that. Maybe. Okay. Maybe system. Okay, system we, have to, we have to. Multi-level. Multi-level is a system. We have to use the, the millennial method to. By discarding. Discarding the the pingüe. <laughs> okay. Yeah, for me, level, that is the, 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 the option that less. So. It's a millennials uh, method. Who is millennial here? <laughs> this schedule is so difficult for me. <laughs> I think it's yeah, the time. I know. Hey, Stefania, <laughs> uh, we're staying ten minutes after the class, if you don't mind. Okay. Oh no. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's, it's great. Yes, yeah. ten minutes. Don't worry. Are you done? Yes. yes. Okay. We finish cool. number four and number five. Number five. <laughs> oh, you did both. What? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Haven't even read about it. Okay. 
Awesome. Good. But uh, we don't know if number five, we didn't. Yeah, you were not supposed to do it, but it's okay. But don't it, worry. Okay. Digital marketing, digital, digital, digital marketing. Okay, uh, and again, grab a sticker from your Zoom tools if you can, please. Go to your Zoom tools, grab a stamp. Okay, grab a stamp from your Zoom tools. And tell me what will be direct marketing? Go ahead. I mean, don't tell me, just right. Excellent. Okay. Alexander, Luis Ernesto, Jose Alberto. Okay. Do you all agree the business of selling products or services directly to the public? Okay. William, thank you. Okay. The business of selling products or services directly to the public direct marketing hmm. okay so we all agree yeah that makes sense right oh. okay so yeah that totally makes sense for me anybody else have a different idea no okay no good okay so that will be number one what would be multi-level marketing? I'm sorry, number five, multi-level marketing. Multi-level marketing. Okay. Blanca, Stefania, Jose Alberto, okay. Luis Ernesto, Freddy, Andres. Oh my God, you all agree on, it is a system for selling goods or services through a network of distributors, multi-level marketing. It's a system for selling goods or services through a network of distributors. Can you give me an example of a multi-level marketing? Mm -hmm. This goes well. So can you give me an example and an idea of how it works? Selling goods of services through a network of distributors. OmniLife. 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 Mm, okay. Okay. That's like diversification. Di yeah, diversification. Diversification. Does that even exist in English? Hmm. Multi-level marketing. Yeah, that sounds like diversification maybe where you can the, sell multiple products. Uh -huh. For example, when you are a retailer, maybe? You... Yeah, I was thinking exactly. I was thinking as a retailer. Uh -huh. Yes, uh, for example, you, you don't only get a profit for your product in your store. Maybe if you, if you give your product to another store or person, the sell that the person or the store uh, does, mm -hmm. uh, is profit for you too. What, Excellent. Like a commission maybe. Even if the product is not related, right? Yes. Does that ever happen to you? You go to a place where the, they sell computer parts and you find some other stuff, you know? Yes. Not related to computers. Okay, same thing. Awesome. Consumer data. Consumer data. Come on, draw. Uh huh. Luis Ernesto, Alexander, Andres, Josué, Suleima Blanco. Okay, you guys agree on consumer data, the information trial. The information trial customers leave behind as a result of their internet use. Yeah. yeah, cookies, right? That's consumer data. That's how they get your information. 
So we learned that today. Okay, optimized content, optimized content. Alexander, Erika, everybody, so they were good. Stefania. So optimized content, making a website more attractive to search engines and users. Hmm. A website attractive for search engines. How do you make a website attractive for search engines? I think you have to pay. Google offers a service where if you pay them, they put you as first uh, result. So if you search bread, what could be the first option that you will get? The website that is better ranked or pays more to be the first one on, on Google search. Does that make sense? Or they hire a community manager. Can a community manager put you in first place on the search engine? And an SEO, a searching engine optimizer. Oh, hmm. We need a presentation for uh, about that tomorrow. <laughs> ah, okay. Thank you, Stephanie. I didn't know that. Welcome. Okay. And the last one, sales leads. Which one are we missing? Sales leads. Okay. <laughs> Ready? It's okay. 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 Initiation of consumer interest into products or services of a business. What do you understand by sales leads? How did you find the translation or what do you understand about it? Sales leads. Leader in ventas. Mm. Mm -hmm. So who's leading the sales? Okay, in initiation of consumer interest into products or services leads, of a business. Teacher, I think lead is like a new contact for a company. Um, new clients, for example. I think is related to optimized content as well. It's like who is leading the sales, as Fernando said, right? Who's leading the sales? The person who is more attractive, I'm sorry, the business that is more attractive or the product that is more attractive right in this moment for consumers. So for example, who's leading the coffee market in El Salvador? No idea, teacher. Right, no idea, right? Oh, easy, easy, easy. Who's leading the milk, the powder, powder milk business? Neil. Really? Australia? Raise Australia. your hand, Australian? Because of the price. <laughs> Did you get a plate? <laughs> yeah, no, the price is adaptable. So. Yeah, you know what? And Walmart is cheaper. <laughs> At least for the last one month walmart has remained like 60 cents lower in the price of australian milk compared to selectors just so you know you don't get you don't get the plate or the cup you know and you, if you have too many already okay quack, quack, quack. oh my god guys okay i'm, st I'm staying with stephanie tonight no okay I'm staying with Stephanie tonight. I hope you enjoy the class, study, study, practice, dedicate at least 30 minutes more to the class to studying. Okay. Alexander de Jesus Sanchez Soto. Present. Andres Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Present. Good night. Good night, Blanca Stephanie Navarro Flores. Present. I'm you. here. Thank you. Dora Elizabeth Flores Mendez. Present. Good night. Good night. Turn on your cameras, guys. Edwin Alexander Ayala Eraso. Erika Beatriz Lopez Morales. Present. Good night. Good night. Irwin Lagos Andrade. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Good night. Good night. Francisco Madeo Villacorta Chavez. Present teacher. Freddy Vladimir Cortez Lopez. Thank you. Thank you. Glenda Laura Celada Renderos. Thank you. Good night. Amos Alfredo Garcia Granadino, Josué Alberto Salas Benítez. 
present. Thank you. Yuri Vladimir Cruz Ventura. Luis Ernesto Romero Argueta. Present. Good night. Good night. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Estefanía Carolina Reyes Sánchez. Present. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Good night. Good night. Jessica Yanari Cortés Díaz. I'm here. Good night. Good night. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present. Good night. Good night. Roberto Ulisso Mañorellana. Suley Mibón Moreno de Hernández. Present. Good night. Good night. Irene Susana Cuellar Albanés. Present. Jarvin Isaac Guevara Miranda. Present. Thelma Clotilde Peña Martínez. Okay. <laughs> Good night. Good night. <laughs> bye bye. Okie dokie. I didn't drink water the whole class. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, me neither. In the whole day. <laughs> that is so bad. Okay. So how are you? I'm pretty tired because I'm at my job right now. <laughs> Where do you work? I'm always wondering because of your my my board. Your, yeah. your board is a window actually, right? But yeah, it's, it's, it's a window. A window board. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's, it's my window board. It's a trend. It's a trend. Let me tell you yeah. for offices. No, but it, it's really useful because. Yeah. I, I am I'm a project manager at a bank, so I need <laughs> boards everywhere to write the, the plans and everything. Uh, but is that facing the customers? Well, yes, because I lead in projects for customers, for clients. No, no, no. I'm saying that if I'm a customer at the bank, I can read what you have there? No. No? Okay. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> but you don't understand yeah we will read it backwards right yeah okay <laughs> hey where have you started english before um only at my college and mm -hmm. i i really um well i heard a lot of english music and watch series in english and programs in english that's that's helped, helps me a lot. That yeah. helps me a lot. That helps me a lot. That helps me a lot. That helps me a lot. Yeah. Even yeah. for me, that's difficult sometimes. Hey, good, but you have very good pronunciation. So you like English. Why are, why are you at work? It's 10.02 p.m. Because, <laughs> because I, can, I can leave my work. I, I have a, a, a business meeting. So I ended like um, 8.30, I guess. I, one, I, I read it on the website that I, I was in a meeting. Okay, so uh, typically uh, you leave after the class. Oh, okay. Is yeah. it far away from home? No, I live in Merliot, mm. near to the uh, La Gran Vía. So, mm. And in the, at this time, I don't... I don't get traffic yeah of course and and i at least me i i love driving at night yeah especially with people. this weather <laughs> yeah it's more relaxing actually and listening to music that's better yeah i actually miss driving okay so how long have you been in this course in this course i don't i don't understand your question um, in this program this english program oh. This this is my first model. Module. Module. Uh -huh. This is your first module, really? No. Okay. And um, I was thinking to uh, to start the course from basic level six, I guess. Because oh. I, I I think this is a great program, but I need to practice more and I need to to Okay, to remember what the structure, the, the verbs. Grammar? Like that. Yeah, the grammar. So mm -hmm. I, I, I don't know. I, I, I was thinking and to 
uh, start this course from the basic level. But you're understanding the class. I, I, I get it. Yeah, I understand everything that you said and and I understand it well, but I I need I really need to to remember the grammar things. Hmm. But I, I don't know what you recommend me. If I start from basic level and do the all the program or stay in, in, in the intermediate stage. So I don't know. I don't know what to do. You're in the perfect level. Really? Yes. I I I I, I don't know. I can't remember the grammar in there. But you're That's using it. Wrong. Well, let's see. Is your intention to learn wait, is your intention to write a book write reports i mean are you going to use the grammar a lot no but um when i speak i always i don't know if i speak correct in a correct in a correct way so i don't know if i'm speaking the right way you, yeah or if you can give me some tips that i to improve my my skills i don't know it's just that you're speaking perfectly fine. I mean, you're doing it right. Um, let me see, just one thing I wanted to get for you. Activities, grammar tenses, English tenses. Where is that thing? You know, I have this website where you can find all of the, well, the 12 basic structures. Mm -hmm. And you have a lot of stories on PDF. Then you have to practice with the, what you've read. You know, I read a lot in English. So, really? Yeah. And I, I understand it. And, and the words that I don't understand, I search on, on a dictionary and put some notes on my, on my, on my eBooks. But I, I try to read a lot in English. I think that that helps me too. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm just going to send it to you um, on the chat so everybody can use it. Or if you can uh, send me to through WhatsApp. Yeah, I just said on the, on the group so everybody can see can see can watch the uh, the website. Now, something that has worked for me a lot, no matter the level, mm -hmm. if I and, and well, nowadays, kids, how old are you, by the way? 33. 33. Okay, you're just a baby still. So, <laughs> okay, something that has worked for me, uh, you know, teenagers nowadays, if I, if I tell them I would eat a horse, okay, they will go like, wait, that looks like simple present, but you're using that word, would. And they will go on Google, find more about models and understand that this is affecting the verb. Then they will ask, okay, how do you make a negative? Oh, I wouldn't eat a horse. Mm -hmm. And the question, will I eat a horse? And an open question, why will I eat a horse? So that to get the, the structure or remember the structure, yeah. What you should do is practice positive, negative, question, open question. WH question. You're still missing one. Oh my god! I I took a, a look, 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 look. You I will don't... you will eat a horse, right? Wouldn't you? No. You, you will eat a horse, wouldn't you? That's a tag question, a rhetoric, rhetorical question. Mm -hmm. You remember? Yes. Okay, that's the fifth way of speaking you're ready for that um, because you have very good speaking skills if you want to remember the grammar honestly if i were you i wouldn't even bother okay because if you're reading books you're getting more advanced um english let's say than than just the course now applying I mean, I, I'm curious. Are you liking the class, the topics, most of all? Yes, I, I really, I really like the program. That's <laughs> what I say. That I, I, I was 
Hmm. How do you how do you, you are say doubting? It? Doubting to start the course because I think it's a pretty great course to okay. to start from yeah, scratch. And you you got here on the right moment because next module is about management advanced is about uh dealing with employees training training necessities um what you're doing uh planning projects project oh, okay. project management project management is in advance as well so well it all depends on the teacher but as long as the teacher makes you talk with your classmates and be creative, you know, for example, if I talk to you about training necessities at the workplace, I wouldn't do it. I will just give you an idea and the way I do it, you know, hey guys, go, let's go in groups. You have a company, picture it, you know, how would you like it? How many employees do you have? What's the, the niche of market that you're using on your company? And what necessities of training are you identifying on your employees, okay? Mm -hmm and so on. Maybe I will give you some tools, but okay. you're gonna like it. I mean, for for your specific area, I think that's really good. Yeah, okay. I'll stay in, in the <laughs> intermediate six. <laughs> you yeah, you're, I mean, you're gonna love these topics because you already speak and you speak better than others, I shall say. Okay. No, but uh, the, uh, Eric and Freddy's has a pretty good level. Oh, of Freddy's life. lived in the States for like. Yes, he told me that and... yesterday that he's on a, on a ghetto. Oh my God. Do <laughs> yeah, but he uses too much uh, like um, slang. Slang, you know, and, and based on the fact that you have read books, you may have more proper English, and that's better for business. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. If you need anything, just text me and no matter the time of the day, I'm always available. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Good, Good night. night. Bye. Bye-bye. Go home. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>